I was uh, laying in bed watching TV and um, kind of just felt like the whole house shook, like fucking something was just dropped on my house. And uh, I ran up to my roommates, uh, wanted to see if she was all right. She said she was fine. I came down here. There's a bunch of people running up over there to the entrance of the mechanic shop or whatever that is. And uh, all of a sudden, everybody started pulling out their phones and everything, started calling 911. And uh, about five, ten minutes later, uh, smoke started pouring out. Aside from uh, the sound of an explosion, did you hear anything else? Nope. Uh, I just came outside, saw if it, I didn't know if there was like a car accident or something like that. So I just wanted to come out and see what happened. Uh, yeah, everything was pretty much based around the entrance over there uh, from the get-go. See any fire? Uh, no fire, just uh, a lot of smoke. There's a lot of smoke ro rolling out of it. So being inside, feeling your house shake, I mean, that might have felt like an, uh, an earthquake, right? Almost. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah, no, uh, uh, both floors, everybody felt the ground move underneath them. Like, it was, it was, it was big, very big. You didn't see anyone come out of that building, did you? Uh, yes, there was one individual I know that was in the uh, prime area of the explosion, and he was taken away by EMS. So he was hurt? Uh, yes, very hurt. Uh, like, he came outside like all the clothes had been burned off his body. Like, it was it was bad. Oh, my God. I hope you have his number to, like, check on him. I do not, yeah. unfortunately. Um, Seeing something like that, I mean be horrible right uh, I mean yeah I'm, I'm just glad he was like he was walking he was talking uh, so I'm just hoping he can get the help he needs I don't I, I don't know how the burn burns go from something like that but uh, he, he got to the EMS he was able to talk walk so glad that was uh, that was the case instead of the uh, alternative